And now that we have a feeling of the suppling of the inside jaw, or the outside jaw, now you're going to add the, the, the actual pole. Because you'll feel first he has to let go in his jaw, that's step one. Step two is you'll feel him lock up in his pole, right? Mm -hmm. And he likes to lock up and throw his pole down, or go behind the vertical. So where do you feel him locking up now? Is that in his jaw or in his pole? Good, good. So unlock his jaw, then pick your rein, pick his neck up until he releases his pole. Because that's what you have to do for him is pick his neck up because he likes to go behind the vertical. So first you're going to do step one. He has to let go of the jaw after he gets, he's got a bug around yeah, his head. It's a, big, it's a big one too. <laughs> good excuse, really. It's gone. He says, oh no, it's not mom. It's still there. It's still there. You might have to go for a trot around. Good, good, good. Okay, so now feel, feel, feel. Yeah, notice how you're using your hand now. Okay, first, that's it. Get the jaw. Make sure you can look through his ears when you, when you, that'll keep you from bringing it over too far. Okay, now you feel him locking up somewhere else. That's his pole. So pick his nose up, pick his pole up a little bit by picking up your hand. Praise him and feel when he lets go in his pole. And you'll feel when he go, lets go in his pole, he'll pick you up different under your seat. Good, take your time. Yep, that's where you have to go right back to the jaw. Is he soft on both sides of his jaw? And then check if he's soft on both sides of his pole. That's it. Now at first he's just going to do whatever walk he does. We're just going to isolate the steps to connection. That's it. Now you'll notice this is where he's going to tighten up in his jaw. Because you can feel he ducks right behind right away, right? And since he's doing more of the second level kind of work, we want to get his pole up as high as we can right now. Good. Okay, now keep feeling. Is it his jaw or his pole? And neither. That's good. Your response is with your leg and your rein. That was perfect. So whenever you feel him lock up, especially in the pole, you've got to really remember to use the leg on the same side. Where's he locking up? Right here. And he's going to lock up every two steps. Good, good, good. Feel him picking you up a little different? This is normal where he'll get fussy. Good. Pull up. That's where he's locked his pole. If his pole drops below his neck, that's where the beginning of him going behind the vertical where he's going to lock up. So you soften his jaw, pick him up so he picks you up under your seat. And that releases his neck. This is where he gets the rainbow. That's the step three. So step one, he has to be soft on the jaw. Step two, soft in the pole. Step three, soft in the neck so he picks up your seat. Good. Try this at the trot now. We're going to try this in the warm-up. She just said we haven't warmed up yet. We're asking him to now stay more connected in the trot. That's it. Whatever trot he gets you, first you're going to feel, because he likes to go along and just do his own trot, right? Which is fine. But now as he's trotting around, you're just going to ask him to stay a little more connected between your leg and reins. So even on a long rein, because you can do a warm-up trot on a long rein, just check. Is he soft in his jaw? That's it. Is he loose in his pole? He can go a lot more forward if you want. And can he keep a rainbow? And you can feel that's where he likes to drop his pole without Bray opening his throat latch. That's it, because you want him, his, if his pole is loose, his throat latch will be open. Good. There. Now get him to step up more because we're going to add more activity to it. That's your step five. So it's jaw, pole, neck. He should respond from your leg. And then you're going to add activity. Good. Jaw, pole, more activity. Oh, that's it. More activity. And he just doesn't understand why you're already asking him to stay connected. Good. More activity. This is our warm up work. More activity. A lot more activity. 
That's it. He needs to quicken up his back feet. There. So he doesn't look like he's laboring. And then you start checking. Is he softening his jaw? Softening his pole? Softening his neck? Responding from your leg? And staying active. More activity. A lot more activity. Good, good. Yep, he's saying this is hard. More activity. A lot more. Good, a lot more. So is that number one? Uh, actually, number one is the jaw. I know, but we haven't had that yet. Okay, well, what you do is every time you ask him with your rein, that's a great question. When you ask him to soften with the jaw, he needs to get more active behind. So it would be all of them combined. It is. Yeah. That was a good question. Because you can't be active from behind and step into the rain unless you've got both of them together. So you're exactly right. So step one would be he has to be active and soft to the jaw. Step two is active and soft to the pole. Step three is active and soft to the rainbow in his neck and lifting your back. So that's a good point to bring up. When we're working with green horses, it doesn't work like that, but he's not a green horse. Good. More activity. Good, right there. That's the activity you, you want to ask him for every time he does something. Good, keep him active into the stretch, into whatever connection you're doing, whatever step. Especially in the corners, make sure you can look between his ears. You'll notice a lot of times on the corners you can't see between his ear, right? So if you can't see between his ears, he's not really on his inside hind. Good. That's it. Again, we're working on the steps to connection. So first bow, bow softens to the jaw and she keeps him active with her leg, then to the pole, then to the neck. Good! He's opening up his throat latch. Much better, Susan. Start adding curves and circles so you can make sure you can look between his ears. The looking between the ears will get the rider to use more of their outside rein and leg. That's it, that's it, more activity. Because when he felt you doing that, right away he shortened his steps, right? And he didn't slow, he kind of slowed them down. So you want to think, when you bring him over so you can look between his ears, make sure he stays active, stepping up between his ears. Yep, get him to step up more. More. Get his outside hind to step up between his ears. That'll be the feeling of the shoulder in. Good. Are the leg yield, whichever one you want to use. That's it. Good, good. More activity. He's four inches from tracking up. So that tells you how much activity you need. More. That's it, more. Okay, can you feel that activity? Keep the minimum of that activity in all of his trots now. Tell me when he starts losing his activity. Good! Well that's what he should be doing right now because you're connecting him to your from your rein, your leg to your rein. So that's to be expected. So now you just want to teach him when you ask with your leg, he's going to step seek your lively rein. So that's when you're gonna feel is the rein alive or dead coming from your leg? That's right, make the rain more alive, more activity, more. Yep, like you were feeling with Darian, get him to, that's all right. Because we've never asked for it quite this way, so we expect him to be a little bit wondering what's going on, more activity. More, 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 good, good, more, more. There he goes, more, 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 more. Yep, he's at like a five. I know it's hard. So what can you do to, there, more, right there, that's like a six, and it'll build up as it gets more strength and more knowingness. That's it, more activity. We're going to play with adding the activity now, even more, even more, yes, even more. What can you do to get more activity? Because he's, this is what he does sometimes in the ring is he gets luggage, right? Okay, what can you do more activity? Let's start adding, let's start adding, uh, even in the warm-up, start adding leg yields, shoulder ends, 
and half passes and let's see what we can do to get them past this part all right okay more activity watch that you can see between his ears more that's it praise him now he's starting to sit down praise him that's it even though he's not getting more active he's sitting down which is going to build up his activity good boy good boy good boy oh he doesn't like this new balance idea does he Good boy, which is normal for horses, learning a different balance, more activity. That's it. Good. That's it, more.